Well, it looks like Xbox is looking to make some waves at Gamescom this month. What titles could be making an appearance at this show? Find out. Up next. What up guys, this is Kalo, and I'm here to give you the lowdown on all things gaming. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for weekly video game news content. Drop a like on the video and welcome to the level up. So today's story is coming from Insider Gaming and they report on how Xbox is looking to go quote all out for the annual Gamescom event this month. Quote, it's understood that playable games will include the likes of Forza Motorsport, Stalker 2, and Towerborn. It's pretty interesting to see that Stalker 2 is making an appearance at this show, mainly because the studio working on this game was located right in the middle of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The studio was even subject to a series of data leaks back in June that resulted in a lot of in-game material being leaked online. Following that leak, the studio issued a statement that read, quote, As for now, we kindly ask for stalkers and those who want to join the zone in the future not to look at or share any leaked materials from the game. Although these materials are only used for testing purposes and are not release ready, these leaks may ruin your experience of exploring the zone by yourself. Rest assured, our team remains dedicated to delivering exceptional gaming experiences. Stalker 2, Heart of Chernobyl is the game we dedicate our hearts and soul to. Despite the issue, we will continue to ensure that the game will satisfy your expectations as we hope. And Xbox fans in general should be pretty happy about this alleged big showing at Gamescom. Mainly because Xbox, at least for now, is not relying on the singular E3 month to make its announcements. Rather, they're spreading them out over multiple events. When you really look at it, we got the developer direct where we got Hi-Fi Rush, then we got that huge showcase back in June, and now it's looking like Gamescom is our next stop. The booth that Xbox is going to run at this event was confirmed by their own official blog. And as it stands right now, if you're attending the event, there will be 30 playable games, which again include the likes of Stalker 2, Forza, Payday 3, Armored Core 6, and Cyberpunk 2077, the Phantom Liberty DLC. And on top of all that, Xbox is holding a theater presentation that will include games like Starfield, Forza, and Era History Untold. Now, while you won't be able to play those games, it's still pretty nice to get updates around them. And just a little bit of speculation, Xbox did reveal some major Game Pass games at Gamescom last year, such as Lies of P. So, could we possibly get yet another reveal along those lines? And while we're on the subject of events, it's worth noting that a new 35-minute Pokemon Presents is due out tomorrow. Now, 35 minutes is a long time to reveal some stuff, especially when talking about Pokemon. But for this event, I'm fairly sure we're going to be getting more looks at the Scarlet and Violet DLC along with an actual release date for them. There was also this highly talked about performance patch for Scarlet and Violet that hasn't been released yet. And me personally, I'm more in the camp that this performance patch will come out alongside the Switch 2, since that system is more well equipped. Another title that could be making an appearance at this show is Detective Pikachu Returns, which does come out October 6th, so we're due for at least more of an in-depth look here. And finally, we're ending on a little bit of a rumor here that involves the Unova region, and for those of you who are fans of Pokemon, you know this is the Black and White games. There have been rumblings of alleged remakes for both Black and White, or a Pokemon Legends Kirim which would be based around the Unova region. If I had to pick from the two, I'd be all in on Pokemon Legends since I enjoyed Legends Arceus and still play it to this day. But with all that being said, I'm going to pass this question off to you guys. What games do you want to see revealed at the Pokemon Presents event? Now, I'm fully on board with the Pokemon Legends game, but y'all know me by now, give me Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness. But that about does it here. I've been Kalo. I gave you the lowdown on all things gaming. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for weekly video game news content. Drop a like on the video. And this has been The Level Up.